Hi there, welcome to Hoo-Ha Sports today. Well, we have to apologize because we promised to bring you some images of Chelsea's open training session during their Asia tour year. But unfortunately, when the crew went to the stadium yesterday, they ran out of tickets. I don't know how they ran out of tickets or why they ran out of tickets or did they actually streamline and cut back the number of tickets. But there were only about 7,000 to 9,000 people inside the stadium, but they ran out of tickets. But thanks to some of the Chelsea fans who have posted some of the images from their training session, we have some of them courtesy of the Chelsea supporters for you. Right, one of the first people out on the pitch was new manager Andre Villas Boas, and he was followed by the Chelsea captain who led the entire Chelsea squad full strength, that is, with people like uh, Jean Obi Mikel, Frank Lampard, um, not forgetting Ashley Cole, and also Fernando Torres, who got a rousing welcome as he stepped into the stadium. Right, if you want to see more free images of that Chelsea Open training session, just head on over to the internet and Google it. But if you want to catch the full proceeding of the press conference with Andre villas boas together with Branislav Ivanovic and also Frank Lampard, just head on over to the Hoo-Ha site at hoo-ha.my. But now, we are back to some questions that the producers have about yesterday's training session. Well, you really can't say because most people are actually waiting for Chelsea to play a competitive match. But in the training session, it was a little different compared to the Arsenal and the Liverpool Open training session because Andreas Villas Boas actually led the training session and he actually performed the same, you know, stretching exercises and running exercises as the players did. So you can see he's very much in tune and uh, pretty much is a good leader on the pitch. Well, the age difference doesn't really show that much because, I don't know, maybe the Chelsea guys have uh, some good facial care or facial treatment back in Chelsea. But, uh, you know, like Andres Villasboa said, at the end of the day, the players have to respect the chair and he is the manager. But I don't know how the manager is getting along with the rest of the backroom stuff because most of them are, look like they are twice his age. Uh, not just involved, he's right there smack in the middle of the entire training session even when they had the warm-up game and he carries around a clipboard with him and he actually instructs players, jots down little notes and uh, well, he's very much in action, rolls up his sleeve and he's part of the training session. Well, in the sounds of Andres Villas-Boas, quite confusing actually because uh, they took only a third of the pitch to play nine aside and there were like three sets of players, probably something that's as complicated as Andreas Villas-Boas. While on the other part of the pitch, they did uh, uh, like a, an attacking formation with the ball starting off from the centre, moving on to the winger and then passing it back to the striker. And Fernando Torres was spending most of his time in that training session rather than the nine aside. But it's hard to say about Chelsea's reaction here in Malaysia because you know the fans are really starstruck by all the star players that are here. It's the full strength squad from uh, Chelsea. But most of the events are quite private and by invitation only. So most of the fans probably wouldn't have a chance to actually attend or get their autographs. But on the other hand, as uh, some of the news clippings you can see, this one here from The Independent, it says that Chelsea have got a long way to go as compared to Arsenal or even Liverpool to garner more support here in Asia. But just to quote what uh, Liverpool's CEO Ian Eyre said about their visit here when they headed back to Anfield just a couple of days back that it was a mistake for them for not coming here in the first 100 years of their existence and he said there'll be no surprise they won't wait for another 100 years to return to Malaysia because the fan support shown by the Liverpool supporters was absolutely incredible and the players back at Anfield just can't stop talking about it. And this is probably the reason why. Well, that's all we have for you on this webisode of Who Has Sports today. Don't forget to join us tomorrow as we'll look ahead to Chelsea's match with Malaysian Harimau Muda. Until then, from the team and I, it's bye for now.